guys, we've arrived. You know when I said in the previous video that I think Kaipo is my favorite spot? I think I'm about to change my mind. I've just arrived at Rocky Paddock Campground, which is just outside of Mount Crawford Forest Reserve. Man, <laughs> I don't even know how to explain this place to you. It is so far beyond. If you can imagine Kaipo Rainforest, but a little bit more dry and rocks, these massive, gorgeous boulders everywhere oh my god <laughs> i'm very very happy to be here today and um, we're gonna make this camp absolutely epic i can't wait to get set up but first i've got to get a fire going because today we're gonna make camp bread so i've got to get that done first because i kind of need that for dinner so <laughs> i'm gonna light the fire and um, we're gonna get camp set up together welcome welcome to camp it's great to be here it is a Wednesday morning, it's 11 o'clock, and uh, this is the Midweek Escape Artist, ready for another solo camp. Let's do that. Oh, this is amazing. This stuff splinters so well. right in there as you can see I've got these two beautiful trees so I'm gonna try and put a ridge line across them to hang my top over as yes so what I've done is I've gone to Bunnings and um, I got myself these two marine grade carabiners I think this pack was like five bucks but because these are marine grade stainless steel they're not gonna rust and they're really strong and I've also got myself a cam jam I've never used one of these um, but the cool thing is the rope feeds through and loops down and clips into place so I'm gonna be using that for that side of the tree or that side I'm not sure and uh, I've got myself a brand new pack of beautiful black 3 mil paracord so guys, I hope you can hear me okay. What I've done is I've tied a loop knot through the one end of the paracord and I've connected one of my marine grade carabiners to it. So I am just going to take this and I'm going to swing it around this tree uh, in, a, in a way that is impossible to do gracefully. Uh, so I'm just going <laughs> to... This is going to be interesting. All right, so just bear with me while I swing this guy around. I think it's grabbed onto the bark there, which is exactly what I wanted. Cool, so I've got that. Now, I'll pull the paracord around this tree, I'm trying to set the height I go. I don't want it too high because I'm a shorty, so I do want to be able to reach it. But then what I've done is I've just looped it back around and through the carabiner. Cool, so now, if I can undo these knots, because it's brand new paracord, the stuff needs a, a couple of goes to kind of expand and unroll. So I'm just going to walk this back to the other side. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? What have I done? And I'm just going to try and get this as tight as I possibly can. I'm going to wrap it around this tree. And we have got basically just about an inch to spare on this line which is perfect oh my goodness look at that that is awesome yeah we're here oh at the most amazing place i can't even <laughs> i can't even tell you i've been here for a couple of hours i got the fire started i did a couple of things around the site um, now it's time to get camp set up so what i'm going to do i'm going to start with a fly first 
I'm going to get that onto the ridge line that we set up earlier. Um, I'm really excited to try that, by the way. It's the first time I'm doing it like that. But first, I need to create some Prusik loops to actually attach the fly to the ridge line. So I'm going to do that now. The cool thing with the Prusik loop is it can slide fairly easily onto the line until you put tension on it, at which point it locks in and cannot move. Because I happen to have them with me today. Here we go. Amazing. So much space under here, it's ridiculous. Just put my chair together wrong. I just got camp set up finally. This is the Zempire Eco Cupboard. Um, I am, uh, I'm very pleased. I'm very stoked. This is quite possibly one of the nicest camps I've been to. But if you look through there, it just keeps going. It's just trees everywhere and it's beautiful and green and lush. This out. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine a more perfect view? Alright guys, so the plan is I'm going to chill out for a little bit and we're going to get the bread on the fire and um, make some delicious camp bread. I might make a little snack out of it if I'm that way inclined. But um, other than that, we're going to hang out. I'm going to take you for a walk in a couple of minutes and uh, we're going to relax and uh, enjoy this phenomenal place it's been the most amazing afternoon so far i'm on to my first beverage this is a cooper's brewery pacific ale it's very very nice <laughs> um, i'm going to enjoy this i'm going to have a cigar wait for these coals to burn down a little bit and uh, we're going to get some uh, bread in the oven it's very exciting oh it's gorgeous here cheers everybody welcome to camp Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the first part of this as much as I have, um, but there's much more to come. And I'm so privileged and happy to be here. Thank you for joining me. Cheers, everybody. Camp bread time. Um, 
I made the most delicious dough yesterday. It's the same dough I always make for pizzas and breads. Uh, the only variation I do is how much yeast I put in and how long I let it ferment for. Now this one has been fermenting for 24 hours in the fridge and probably eight hours here proof. So it should be good to go. So what I need to do is I need to get my camp oven preheated just a little bit. I don't want it too hot, but hot enough to get the dough to like do its thing. Um, so I'm going to put that in the fire now and then we're going to put the dough in. And yeah, camp bread. I've got the camp oven in the fire pit off to the side I push the fire all the way through this way because I don't want absolute direct heat on it I've moved the coals around a little bit we've got really good heat coming off this fire now so I'm gonna leave this in here for a few minutes to like preheat a little bit and then we're gonna stick the bread in oh I'm so excited camp bread yes cool all right I'll come back to you Here's my dough, it's uh, totally beautiful. I'm just gonna manipulate it a little bit. If you can see the texture of it, it is smooth and homogenous. It is firm to the touch. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy with this. Olive oil container here. I'm just gonna gently grab it. Pop it right up in there. A little bit of oil on top. There we go. And the lid is going on. Cool. So now I've got to get some of this cold on top of here. Cam shovel. Yes. <laughs> never had one of these. I never really understood the need for them, but uh, I do now. So I'm just going to grab some of these little coals. I'll stick them right on top here this fire is very very hot so i'm sure we can afford to put some of this stuff on there there we go that looks good to my eyes and I've just got to reorganize the fire a little bit Our campsite is all the way up there and here we go back home I've got to check the camp bread let's have a look at that now oh <laughs> getting there oh <laughs> yes So the bread has come out of the oven, well, out of the fire. I'm going to bring it over here in a second and we're going to see what we've created. Now because this is wood, I can't bring the oven over here, so I'll take the bread out there and bring it here. 
Give me a sec. Oh my goodness. Oof. It smells so good, I can't even tell you. It's a little burnt on the bottom, but it's not bad for a first time. I can just cut that bottom off. So, should we cut into this? Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> so ready. Let's give it a go. Oh, it's, it's all very hot. Oh. <laughs> But the main course for tonight is a curry. For me, camping is all about the food and sharing it with friends and family. And you can see how many of them I have around. But nevertheless, you're here and that's what counts. I've got onion and chili mix with some garlic. I've got some sambals. I've got my assorted veggies. And then we have Our lamb, sorry, beef. It's been marinating in there with rosemary and garlic, salt and pepper, and I spiced the meat with some cumin and salt and pepper and some turmeric. That's been in there for 24 hours, so I think that should be quite nice. Tomatoes, got some coconut milk. Back to tonight's programming. I'm having a Pirate Life Lager. You'll remember this one from the Kaipo video. I really enjoyed it, so I thought I would get it again. So Pirate Life Lager. It's uh, about six o'clock and it's time for a beverage. Cheers everyone. Thank you so much for being here. If you've made it this far, cheers. Mm. Yes, of course it's good. How could it not be? Keeping in mind, I've got to keep those going. Okay. So, my onions, chili and garlic, just in here. I'm gonna just tip that in. Oh. Just all the beautiful stuff. I just wanna get it in the pan. So, let's do that now. Oh. So it's beef, the beef was pre-spiced. I have got a mix of capsicum, red and green. I've got a little bit of potato in there, spinach, and a not insignificant amount of coriander. Some ground garlic, some extra curry powder some cumin, some smoky paprika. Imagine the best curry you've ever had and then times it by 50 and you still wouldn't be anywhere near how good this smells. I've made my garnish at home. It is onion, tomatoes, and coriander. A little bit of garlic and olive oil. And I'm just gonna spoon that right on top.
let's taste to make sure as far as camp cooking goes if you need to feed a few people a camp curry with fresh bread and that's hard to beat. It is hard to beat. I'm really <laughs> enjoying this right now. I'm gonna have my very last beer. I'm gonna sit and chill for a bit and then I'm gonna retire to my tent. I might watch a movie. I might just fall asleep. I'm not sure. Morning everyone. I didn't sleep very well last night. Uh, the wind was blowing all night. I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out here for another hour or so and then um, probably pack up and yeah, head home. <laughs>